Well, you may not have won the lottery in the last year or two, but if you leased a brand new car, it might have been the next best thing. Yep, and today's Behind the Wheel, Tony shows us how you could end up with more money in your pocket at the end of your lease. Nobody thought that a depreciating asset like a car would increase in value. Nobody could have predicted that. But over the last couple of years, that's exactly what happened because of, well, you name it. Chip shortage, manufacturing, supply chain, all of those things, just the general lack of new car inventory. That low inventory, or supply, drove demand and prices for new and used cars up. The result? You can now buy out your car for far less than what you can find that exact model in a pre-owned. Wade happens to work with BMW, but anyone who started a lease in early 2020 with any automaker took an unexpected turn down Easy Street. Say it was $50,000 car, and you did a standard three-year, 36,000-mile lease. And at the end of that lease, it was determined that the value of the car was going to be $29,000. Three years later, the value of that car is really thirty-five. dollars So that's the difference. In that scenario, you'd be up six grand. You're up six grand if you sell it. The money doesn't stay there. Book values change. And that change is already underway. The market is starting to come back down. So it's just like a home. Equity is there, but you don't, it's not realized until you sell. If current trends continue, the longer you wait to sell, the less equity you're likely to have. So if your plan is to sell your leased car, do it sooner than later. Inventory is gradually starting to move up, and that's why the value of pre-owned vehicles is gradually starting to move down. As for starting a new lease today, it wouldn't be a bad way to go, but automakers have already reworked the numbers. What they've done is adjusted what the residual value of that end of the lease is expected to be based on how the market has changed. In other words, the goose that laid the golden egg is cooked. If you are one of those people that was in the right place at the right time, you benefit. Otherwise, just think of it as business as usual. Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. Sometimes here in the newsroom, they'll be like, you know, free donuts. Well, the donuts are gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you they wise up one, to it. You missed it. So, yeah, um, I mean, Wade makes a great point. If, if you intend to sell, do it sooner than later because it really is starting to kind of even yeah. out again. So, so inventory yeah. is going up. Is it turning out to be a better time now to buy a car? Because Well, yeah, exactly, exactly, because the prices are coming down because there's more cars available. That was the whole problem last couple of years. Right, yeah. There weren't many cars. The prices were It really was horrible. Yeah. We were shopping for a car during all of this chaos and it was not fun yeah yeah a little we more, needed a car a little more <laughs> the, the waters are calming yeah okay that's is that your official forecast yes okay <laughs> the big question right. is are the donuts the back no, yeah exactly come there on people there are still no donuts yeah, yeah. ice cream yeah. I have to yes there is all right cool all right um let's stick out to